telecommunication, telecommunication major, but, um, but anyway, my topic is gay marriage in America. Okay, I wanted to ask you guys a quick question. How many of you guys know someone that is either gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender? Raise your hand. Everybody. How many of you actually care if that person, or even a stranger, has the right to marry their partner? Not even if you agree with it, if you think it's right, if you think it's wrong, just do you care at all? Okay. Not the whole class, but a good amount. Um, there are some people that feel like it's their duty to tell them that, no, you cannot. And there are also you know, people that think that they should have the right question. So a quick overview, some statistics on homosexual population. Uh, where is gay marriage legal in the United States? Why hasn't it been legalized in all 50 states? And how does this affect our generation? Okay. So first up is roughly one in every 10 people are part of the LGBT community. Um, that's not like sitting in this classroom, one in every 10 of you are. That's just a rough you know, statistic. Uh, that if you use that statistic, that means that out of the 312,494,690 people living in America, uh, 31,349,000 of them are LGBT. Uh, there's also a statistic that 595,000 households are same-sex partnerships out of the 105.5 million households in America. That's also a statistic saying that that's this number basically kind of cut in half, that every home in America has at least two or more people in it. So if you think about it, that's a pretty big number. Okay, where is it legal? Um, sorry about this picture right here. I tried to get it as best as I could, but um, I couldn't really get it. The red and orange areas are areas that, the deep red is bans, the orange is, mm, it's like the, the marriage itself is not constitutional in those states, and the green is where there are civil unions and domestic partnerships, the blue is complete full gay marriage, and the white and yellow is just, they're undecided, they don't really, if you get married in another state and you move there, it's fine, but don't ask us to do it. Don't ask us to do it. We won't tell you no, but we won't tell you yes either. Um, only six states and Washington, D.C. have legalized gay marriage completely. Uh, Massachusetts was the first, followed by Connecticut, Iowa, Vermont, New Hampshire, and New York was the most recent one in June of this year. Uh, District of Columbia was March 2010. Uh, 17 of uh, the 50 United States, the deep red ones, have an official ban. That means that if you're, if you want to get married in another state and you move there, they're gonna give you a lot of problems with receiving the benefits from your spouse, or if you wanna adopt a child, they're gonna give you a lot of problems also. Um, the other ones, like I said, they just have uh, domestic partnerships and everything. And they also give you problems in receiving benefits. When you marry someone, um, let's say something happens to them and you're their primary beneficiary, you get their insurance, you get their social security, you get, uh, you can be covered under their health care if they're the ones working in your household. In the deep red states, that means that if you're in a same-sex relationship and your partner dies, that you don't, you might not get anything. They might tell you, no, your marriage is unconstitutional in this state, so you have to suck it up and you want. Basically what that is. Um, why isn't it legal everywhere? Um, definition, most states have a defense of marriage acts uh, that define marriage as only between a man and a woman. There are laws in existence. Legalizing same-sex marriages may re result in repealing of laws that uh, polygamous, incentuous, and even pedophilic relationships. There are people that will use the example of, if gay marriage is passed, that means that 
there are some people that will say, well, if I want to have a relationship with a child, I should be able to, because homosexuals are able to be together. Why shouldn't I be able to be with a child, even though children can't consent to stuff like that? But anyway, religion is a very big factor. Um, the United States have, has a very big policy that there's a separation between church and state, but people still let their religion influence their votes. So a lot of people think that homosexuality itself is a abomination, and it's, some people will say that gay people are possessed by the devil, they're possessed by demons, all kinds of stuff like that, but we all know that's not true. Um, these are just some funny photos. This one goes to the pedophilic relationships because they're saying if you know a man can marry a man, I should be able to marry my robot. Uh, homophobia. Um, I would say that that's the biggest reason why it hasn't been passed because a lot of people associate homosexuality with the spread of HIV and AIDS as well as other STDs. They fear that if they're able to be married that they're accepting that into today's, you know, they're, they're accepted into society and that uh, the spread of HIV, it's already an epidemic, but it's not an epidemic here. So that's why they think that, no, it shouldn't be passed. Taxes, a lot of people think that their tax dollars should not go towards funding, you know, people having the right to get married. They feel that uh, their tax dollars pay for the benefits that go to homosexuals and they, they just don't want to do it. Um, another reason is the youth. A lot of people feel that if you, if they legalize it in all 50 states, that means that homosexual couples have more rights to adopt, and they feel that they'll have more influence over the youth, and they feel that that would be really bad for the future, that we'll just all, do, they'll just create laws just to let everyone do whatever they want. There will be no balance, there will be no morality in the United States, and that's what we're going to do. That leads to our next slide which is how does this affect our generation? 62% 62, 62 of Americans between the ages of 18 and 29 find homosexuality acceptable. That means that our age group has the largest percentage of gay rights supporters. So already um, older generations think that that's a problem. They think that we are an immoral age group and that uh, there's also a large number, there's a, a uh, an increase in homo and bisexuality in the teens. So that number is going up with our age group. That's it's higher than it's ever been. Um, and that's for teens that are out. Um, also, there's a been we can't really see it. I'm sorry. There's been a drastic increase in teen suicide due to um, bullying of LGBT teens. Um, I'm from New York, and um, a couple months ago, I heard the story, I forgot his name, I really wish I knew. He committed suicide because he was homosexual, and kids were bothering him, they were calling him weird, fruit, gay, all that stuff, and he figured, I can't deal with this anymore, and he killed himself. So, this is to represent that we need to stop that. People should be accepted no matter what they are. Um, some people feel that homosexuality is a choice. I personally don't think that it's a choice. I think that even when you're too young to understand, if you you may see something that you like, and it just is that way. So I can't help being black. So I don't expect anyone to say, "Oh, I don't know." So <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to recap, a significant amount of Americans are LGBT. Uh, only six states have legalized same-sex marriage. Homophobia and religious beliefs are leading factors in why it has just been passed. And our generation supports gay rights. <coughs> this is my contact info. Email me at ALS5161 at And these are my sources. Questions, comments, concerns? Yes, ma'am. That's true. You said that you heard about that boy. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that the thing you jump, jump off the bridge? Yes. Yes. Uh, 
Um, well, I completely support it because um, um, my aunt actually is a lesbian, and for um, when she got married, I was like sixth or seventh grade. We had to travel like, to Albany just for her to get married, and there was a lot of paperwork when she wanted to move back to New York. She had to like she had to live in a certain area of state New York where they accepted like it's a community full of like gay and lesbian. Like they're really like they're like the nicest people you ever meet, and like I've always felt like they always got treated differently just because of how they are and I was always like bothered by that I guess since I was younger and I just wish people would change their mind like my aunt's like a wonderful person and so is her wife like I love her to death.